Thanks so much for joining us here on the news at daybreak as we kick off your Friday. I'm Kyle Jordan. I'm Maria Janelle. Today, the city of Savannah will hold one of its most iconic St. Patrick's Day traditions, greening of the fountain. We are dressed for the occasion today. We've got team coverage for you all ready to go. Shea Schrader standing by at Forsyth Park, where all of the action will take place just a few hours from now. And first alert meteorologist Dylan Smith is keeping a close eye on today's weather so that you know whether you need to bring a jacket or watch out for the rain. Yeah, we're hoping that it is just the green that we're wearing, not the green on the radar today, Dylan. Yeah, you know, luckily not going to be seeing a whole lot of green on the radar, Kyle. I know we had a lot of rain for the greening of the fountain last year. The only thing that's going to be green out there today are trees and this graphic pretty much. We're going to be looking at lower 70s, mostly cloudy skies, so really not looking at bad conditions if you're trying to head out to Forsyth for that. But it is still severe weather week for the low country. Today's topic, turn around, don't drown. This refers to standing water on roadways. You can't tell how deep it is. You're going to want to go ahead and turn around and go another direction. And we could see a little bit of that as we head into this weekend first alert weather day tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Few severe storms, damaging wind gusts, still going to look at isolated tornadic activity and heavy rainfall out there. We'll talk more about those details in just a few minutes, but it's pretty much going to take up the entire state of Georgia and South Carolina. This morning, though, we're looking at mid to upper 50s for most of us out there, so might need a light coat when you send those kids out to the bus stop, but it'll be back in the backpack later on today. Lower 70s return. We'll talk more about it, but let's take another look at your traffic this morning. Let you know what to expect as you get out on those roadways because we still are tracking a little bit of patchy fog anywhere from the Baxley area all the way up towards Sylvania. Not near as much as what we've seen the past few mornings, but if you run into that, give yourself a little bit of extra time and you're also going to want to give yourself a little bit of extra time if you're headed towards Atlanta. They got more rain showers there later on today, but if you're coming to Savannah this morning, nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to our travel times. 24 minutes from Rinkin, still looking at 44 from Hilton Head. 33 if you're coming in from Bluffton and no major problems around the rest of Savannah, but we'll continue keeping you informed. Happening today, we're hours away from this year's greening of the fountain. Right now, you're taking a look at our WTOC Generator Supercenter downtown Savannah Skycam right there, the Cathedral Basilica of St. John the Baptist. That'll be the focus a week and a day from now, but today Shea Schrader is in Forsyth Park getting us ready for that greening. How's it looking out there? Guys, I can say the weather is beautiful, a lot better than what we experienced last year. I can tell you that nobody is lined up to get their spot for the greening of the fountain yet, but we are expecting people to start showing up here within the next couple of hours. We've also seen a cruise from the city of Savannah out here, kind of dredging the fountain, getting leaves out of it, making sure that that water is crystal clear and ready to take that green dye to kick off the season of St. Patrick's here in Savannah. Now, again, we are expecting much better weather this year than we had last year. Last year was certainly a wet one, but I can tell you that it didn't really dampen the mood at all. Even through all uh, the rain and kind of the cold that we were dealing with last year, you know, people were still having a great time and people still showed out in droves. And that's exactly uh, the kind of energy that we are expecting today. Now, just talking to anybody around Savannah that regularly comes to the greening of the fountain and they'll tell you that it is one of their favorite kickoff events for the season of St. Patrick. You can expect to see adults. You can expect to see kids from different schools around. Of course, we are expecting the Grand Marshal here today to actually dye the fountain green. We are expecting the Bishop of uh, the Diocese and many other people gathering here today. Now, I did speak to Tim Mahoney, who is the general chairman of the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee, and he said that he is so excited for this year and that it's going to be a particularly sentimental one for him, not just because it is the 200th St. Patrick's Day celebration, but also because this is the last year he's going to get to share the greening of the fountain with his kids. We talk about faith, family and friends a lot when it when we come down to parade season because we do honor the feast of St. Patrick and there's just so many things that you get to be with your family and your friends. I, I love having our twins as I mentioned earlier you know um, that they'll be inside the, the, the fountain with me to do it one last time before they start school next year at Benedictine but I love seeing the kids outside of the, of the fountain that are so excited to be there. 
you know, and you can hear in the general chairman's remarks just how much of a rich tradition this really is to people in Savannah. Uh, you know, you talk to folks and they're like, yeah, I went here when I was a kid. I went with my dad. My dad went with his dad and so on and so forth. Now, again, we are expecting people to start showing up here within the next couple of hours to get their spot locked down and secured so they have the best view of the greening of the fountain. And you can generally expect people to start lining up along the fence that surrounds the fountain here. Those are the prime spots, but you can really get a good view of it uh, really from anywhere in Forsyth Park and in the general vicinity. And you are sure to have a better view of it this year than last year. It was just absolutely pouring rain. But as you heard Dylan say nothing like that this year. However, if you aren't able to make it here in person, we will be live streaming the greening of the fountain here on WTOC and that greening is going to take place at noon. Stick with us for the very latest updates throughout the rest of the morning, including here on daybreak and on morning break even later. For now, live in Forsyth Park, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. All right, thank you, Shay. And